Okay, hi all. Uh, let me introduce myself before we start the demo. So I'm Mahesh. I have like uh, 10 years of experience on Informatica. So I mostly worked on uh, Informatica Power Center for about uh, seven years. And then after that, I started working on the Informatica Cloud. So uh, I'm in US, so I work for a multinational company. So I just don't want to reveal that right now, okay. So in this course, we're going to uh, cover Informatica cloud data integration. So as you guys all already know that uh, CDI is a replica of uh, Informatica Power Center, right? So this is the curriculum that I'm going to cover as part of this CDI. So total duration of the course would be like uh, 25 sessions. Uh, it will be like a one hour class each uh, day like every week monday to friday so i'm thinking like uh, 7 to 8 a.m ist time zone so let me show you this uh, curriculum so are there any freshers like uh, anybody doesn't have any experience on the etl or the informatica at all on this group before we start. Oh, yes, Mahesh. Uh, myself, Mahesh. Actually, yeah. uh, I am new to the idea. Um, do you have any other experience in IT or are you just completely new to this? I have other experience in IT, so the ED less they are new uh, for me. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. So I'll talk to you. And anybody else, like uh, who doesn't know the Informatica at all? Okay. So I take that as no and. <laughs> So most of you already know about Informatica Power Center. That's what I assume. Okay, for the people that who doesn't know Informatica, who doesn't know ETL background, I do have a training on the Informatica Power Center. So if you are part, if you're going to start this training, then I can offer that Power Center training videos as well, because I already have those uh, recorded sessions. So I can offer that as part of this so that you will have an understanding of what is the Informatica before we even go into this Informatica cloud. So you guys don't have to worry if you're not sure about the Informatica in the first place, okay? Okay, I see Vuday in the chat that uh, he said yes, okay. So uh, this is the Informatica cloud data integration training. We're not going to cover anything on the Informatica cloud application training, which is CAI. And so this will be more uh, most on the CDI part. Uh, so we're going to cover from the basics to the advanced level. So where I will uh, cover all of the basics and I'll also cover the real-time uh, scenarios with the advanced level where we do the push down optimization exception handling and uh, handling with the uh, key tasks that we usually do in the real time okay so we're going to uh, cover the power center uh, how you know what are the major differences between the power center and the ISS before we deep dive into the ISSs i just want you guys to familiarize with what we have in Power Center, and then what is the additional steps that are involved in the ISS. So I'm going to cover those basics before I start the ISS. So I'm going to uh, set up the lab, which will be like a 30 days free trial account. So you can use your email ID to set up your lab. Uh, so I'll walk you through that lab exercise in one session. So you can, otherwise I do have a recorded session. So I can just give that to you before joining, before we start the class, right? So you can uh, set up the lab yourself. So it will be like a 30 days free trial account uh, provided by the Informatica. You can just set up. And if you have any uh, local uh, database like Oracle, MySQL, any database, you can, you know, 
use the database or you know otherwise i will be covering uh, oracle flat files and we'll also cover the cloud database as well uh, so we're going to work with the uh, salesforce and if time permits i'll also cover the snowflake connections as well so i'm going to cover all aspects of the uh, databases uh, on on premises on the cloud okay so you can see this uh, so i'll cover the salesforce connection flat file and database connections so if you guys have any uh, other connection that you really want me to cover you just let me know so that you know i can show you how you guys can create a cloud connection for uh, amazon redshift or a uh, google bigquery you know if you are already working on it right so you will have the different needs so we're going to talk about uh, the majority of the transformations from the uh, basics to the advanced level again. So we're going, these are the transformations that we're going to cover. So these are like, uh, uh, so I, I didn't cover most of this here, but I'll actually uh, cover most of the uh, transformations as part of the training, okay? So it does not this. And then, uh, so we have this advanced transformations like a hierarchy parser, hierarchy builder, and web services. So we're going to work with the web services, REST and REST APIs as well. So where we uh, send the request to the API calls and then get those response. So we're going to work with the REST APIs as well. And uh, task flow designer. So if you are already aware of uh, Informatica Power Center, right? So it's uh, nothing but a workflow manager. So we're going to cover all, all of the tasks within our task flow manager. And there are some tasks that are specifically to the Informatica Cloud where you know you, you have like a synchronization data transfer replication task, which are which we never had in Informatica Power Center. So we're going to cover those tasks as well. And also I'll cover a, a mass ingestion, which is a, a, a pretty good uh, addition to the ISS, so which, you know, I will cover that as well. And uh, this is the parameterization. And then, you know, I'll cover the exception handling and we work with the APIs where we send the request and get the request. So this is the mass ingestion that I was saying. So, and at the end of this uh, training, I will also explain how this uh, CI CD process work where, you know, you know, continuous integration and continuous development. So you just have to promote your code from one environment to the another environment, right? So I will explain how that works. And also I'll explain this uh, partitioning and the push down optimization, which is more uh, important for us to uh, optimize our long running uh, sessions or the workflows in the uh, Informatica Cloud. So do you, have, do you guys have any questions on the curriculum that I'm going through? So far, does it make sense or you want me to cover anything else? Okay, and uh, one thing I wanted to tell you that, uh, so whatever the uh, classes that I will be uh, going through, so those will be recorded and uploaded into a Google Drive and then I'll share those links to you. So this is my third batch. I already did my uh, previous two batches. So I do have a previous batch recordings as well in the drive. So, so I'll just put these uh, recordings in the drive and then I can just share those links to you. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, yeah, uh, I didn't find the scheduling jobs here in the curriculum. Yeah, I will. I'll cover the scheduling as well. So, as part and, of the task uh, list, as part of the task list, I'll cover the scheduling as well. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and for performance tuning, mm -hmm. is there anything uh, like performance tuning? Mm -hmm. This partition and push down optimization covers under the partner performance. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, part of the scheduling, are you looking for any external scheduling tools or the within these Informatica? I'm not covering the external scheduling tools. I'm going to cover the Informatica scheduling though. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I um, like uh, I worked on uh, Autosys. 
yeah you can uh, trigger the workflows i mean you just have to publish the task flows and then you can trigger this from the artists as well but in within informatica also you have the scheduling where you know you can schedule your task flows okay yeah okay thank you anybody else uh, have any other questions so we are not covering any uh, cai uh, things here no amit uh, we are not so i in my previous batch i actually covered the basics of cii so i can actually offer those videos as a recorded sessions but i'm not going to cover in a live batch because i already did like uh, uh, in the sixth week of my previous batch i covered the basics of uh, cii where you know you will uh, work with the application integration okay but uh, at the at the time of certification uh, 40% uh, weight is of ci also uh, is important so that's why yeah that's okay, okay. If you can provide recordings yeah okay sure yeah i actually wanted to uh, do a, another course on the cai but there are so many people 90% of the people usually require cdi and i don't get much often on the cai Uh, hey Mahesh, are you planning to cover data profiling as well? No, Monica, data profiling. No, I'm not going to cover that. Okay, thank you. I'm covering only on the data integration part. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh. Any other oh, questions? So, Mahesh, uh, what I'm understanding is you'll cover uh, uh, integration part and uh, application uh, integration, you'll share the videos. Is that what I understood? Yes, but uh, the application integration that I'm going to share, that doesn't cover the 100% of it because uh, I did like uh, most of the basics that you need as a CDI, ISS developer. So I recorded all those uh, sessions, actually uh, re uh, recorded everything on the previous batch. So I will share those recordings on CAI, but that covers most of the basics that you need as a ISS developer. Mm -hmm. You don't really need like a complete knowledge on CAI to start as an ISS developer. But if I have like a good amount of people who are ready to learn on CAI, but I can start a batch that will be like a, another 25 hours of sessions. So if anybody is interested or based on that, I can actually go through a separate training because it, it's a different 25 hours of training again. Okay. So that's why I covered the basics of one week classes, five sessions are there. So I can offer that. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Shanmukha. Yeah. Okay, so if you guys don't have any other questions, I'll just do a simple demo on ICS, just one any task, and then we can move on. Okay. So this is the uh, ICS platform. I guess most of you already saw if you are already working on ICS. So you can see all these uh, services that offer as part of this uh, ISS cloud. So you can see that uh, some of them are grayed out because I don't have the license for it. I mean, uh, so as part of uh, training, we actually take those uh, if as a need, right? So mass ingestion that I will take the 30 days trial again to cover that mass ingestion part as well. So data integration is most of the replica of uh, Informatica Power Center, which we are going to uh, cover in this training. So uh, uh, as part of that, you will get the administration and also the monitor where you know you will monitor your jobs. And so in Informatica Power Center, you have like a different tools, uh, different client tools, right? The Power Center Designer, Workflow Manager, Monitor, and Repository Manager. But in IACS, you don't have all that so all you have in, is within a, a ui where you will have a separate services and for each of them 
So data integration is uh, the majority where we're going to work with. So I'll just uh, create a simple task. So we will cover a basic of uh, how that works. So these are like a different task provided in uh, data integration. So each has its own uh, role. So we can go over all these tasks as part of the training but uh, so i'll just do a data transfer task for this demo so data transfer task is nothing but you know if you want to move a data from one place to the other either it's a uh, from on premises to the cloud or on premises to on premises or cloud to cloud so no 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 matter what your uh, requirement is you can do anything uh, set up so for this demo i'm just going to uh, do a so I have like a Oracle database on premises, like in my computer. So I have my, I'll connect to my Oracle database. Let me show my Oracle database and the table that I will use this for this example. So, I have an sales table, which I will be, so this is my sales table and my oracle on premises so i have this data so i think uh, this is good enough for us to use this uh, data transfer task so what i'm going to do is i'm going to read the data from oracle and then load it into a flat file oracle to a flat file so flat file is nothing but a text file and location where you want to save this data transfer task so i just created a folder for batch two so this is actually a batch three for me so and the runtime environment so i have to give the secure agent this is slow <laughs> i want this to be in the demo <laughs> Just do a refresh. I actually can. Uh, can you guys hear me? My system was stuck. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that uh, data transfer task is stuck. So let me just. E Okay, so I set up this data transfer task. I want to read the data from my Oracle and then load it into a flat file. So most of the uh, 
tasks in the uh, Informatica cloud are like a six step process where you name it and then you select the source and then you select the uh, second source and then the target and uh, field mapping where you know you will uh, uh, so in Informatica Power Center we used to link each column by column but uh, here we have the same concept as a field mapping that you will see in this fifth step and uh, runtime mapping. So there was a guy who was asking about the scheduling where you know you can uh, uh, schedule your data task once you created it. Okay. Uh, let's just start with this. This Zoom is, let me just close this. So. I am just uh, connecting from my system that Zoom is got stuck. So let me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. You guys see my screen now? Yes. Okay. Uh, I was just uh, talking about this data transfer that I'm going to read the data from my Oracle and then uh, load it into a flag file. Uh, here. Secure agent. So secure agent is nothing but our integration service and Informatica Power Center. Then move on to our next. So I actually created connections for this demo, but I will show how we can create the connections later on. So I'm going to, so you have to select your source first. So I told you that I'm going to read the data from my source. Uh, article. So I'll select my the article, which will be a sales table. So, so you need to select the source object. Now, when you select the source object, it will show number of tables that you have in that schema for that particular connection. So I'm going to use this sales table. Click OK. And you can apply filters or actually uh, you can preview the data. So you can uh, pretty much do whatever you can do on this real time basis. You, you don't have to load the uh, data before you see the data. So you can do a data preview here itself. And you can do a filters if you want to apply any filters on this, uh, any of the columns, and if you want to do a sorting. So it is just like a 
you want to apply any SQL override. That's it. So let's go to our next step. So here it's asking for a second source. If you want to include any second source as part of this data transfer task, um, that's okay. I, I'll do that later on. But for now, let's just uh, go with the one. For that one only, <laughs> my system got stuck. I don't want to go with the second one. So my target, so I need to select with the target where uh, I would like to select a flat file as my target. So you need to select which on which file you want to load the data. So either you can select an existing flat file or you know you can create a new one as well. So I prefer creating a new one because I don't have anything already on my system. So I'll just uh, say flat file ff underscore sales sales dot txt okay so this would be my target click okay so here you can uh, you can do like a, a formatting options where you know if you want to select a fixed width or the delimited and uh, which delimiter you want to save so this will be your target, right? So how the data you want to store, so according to your requirements. So this is like a basic uh, predefined steps. If you want to change, you can do it. So this operation is like insert. So this is a path file. So you cannot do like a upsert, like a update as insert. So you will, you can only do an insert. That means you just write into a file. Click on next. So this is where this, uh, Informatica Power Center guys know about uh, linking from one column to the other column. So this is your source columns and these are your target columns. So you have this order number, you have this order number. So this is just mapping from which column you want to uh, load the data to which column. So order number to the order number, prod code to prod code, customer code to customer code. So you can change this file mappings if you want to load this order number with a channel code or something, you can do all that. But this is like auto map because uh, I'm just uh, created, a, I just created a new target. So I'll just uh, take the default columns match. So you'll have the same columns as your source. That's it. click on next. So, uh, so one of you was asking about the schedule, right? So if you want to run this on a schedule, you can actually create a schedule. For now, I don't have any schedules on my admin setup. That's why it doesn't show anything. So let's leave it to that. And then we can talk about that during the actual classes. So do not run on a schedule. That means you can run whenever you want. So I'll just save it. Now, data transfer task is saved. So you can run it directly from here. So let me just run it. Uh, before I run, uh, do you guys see my entire screen or just the only? Uh, I think you guys see only. Let me see the uh, uh, share the entire screen so that I can show my database and everything. So run. I'm just going to run this. So when you run, it will show where is it running. So you can check that my jobs. I can see that it is running. So I actually gave this uh, target as a output directory in my local. So this is where the file should be uh, coming in. So you can see there was a file created right now. And before I open this file, let me just uh, open this one first. Let me do a refresh. So you can see that it was succeeded with uh, 2,240 euros from the source and then 2,242 from now target. So let me open my target here. Yeah. So you can see all the statistics same as our monitor, Informatica monitor, you know, where you can see when was it started, when was it ended, and what was the success rules, and that there are any errors, you know, you can download the session log as well, same as the power center. So I'm actually in uh, most, uh, I'm using most of this Informatica power center, but if you guys are not aware of Informatica power center, don't worry about it because I will share uh, the persons who doesn't have an idea. 
Uh, so I do have a pre-recorded batch for the informatical person as well. Okay, let me uh, so you can just uh, let me just query it. I mean, how many records? So you can see 200, 200 2,000 to Let me open the target. So you can see that entire data. Let me just put both of them at the same place. So you can see left side is my uh, Oracle database that you have this uh, order number prod code that is copied over to my flag frame. So using a simple task uh, without uh, much of uh, logic, so you can use this data transfer task to read the data from uh, Oracle and then load it into a flag frame. So it's just not only on premises, this tool is very pretty good with the uh, cloud connections as well like uh, reading the data from snowflake and loading into a redshift or a google BigQuery. so you name it you have most of the connections that are available in informatica cloud so that's all the demo for now i guess i that helps for you to decide so do you guys have any questions on this demo or in general about this training Excuse me. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll hello. Take that. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hi. Uh, I have one question. Uh, like uh, after the, I mean, completing this batch, uh, the what? What about the real time project or scenario? Shall you tell? Shall you tell with that or what? So most of the scenarios that I will be covering, like uh, creating the task flow, so the everything. So I I covered most of this on the real time basis only, not uh, on a training where you know you just create uh, on how to create those uh, tasks. So I'll create uh, real time scenarios in my mind. So I'm actually actively working on the Informatica Cloud in my current project. So I can just bring up those real time scenarios and then go over in the uh, while while you're doing this actual training. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. So if you guys are interested in joining us, uh, so I'm going to start this class this from Monday. So, uh, will be like a 7 to 8 a.m. IST timing. So if you guys are in US, it will be like 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. evening. I think 7.30 to 8.30. I'm not, uh, yeah, 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. So uh, if you guys are interested, can you just uh, ping your uh, phone number or uh, email ID in this chat? Or, you know, I'll just create another WhatsApp group and then I'll send over the link and uh, the WhatsApp group that you guys are already there. So just join that WhatsApp group so you'll have the next meeting links and everything. Uh, what is the charges of this course? So it will be uh, 20,000. Okay. So uh, before you end this, I just want to uh, explain one more thing about this training. So I'll just, uh, uh, so it will be like a one hour daily, but uh, I expect everyone to be uh, spend some time and uh, take some time to practice what we discussed on the every day so that, you know, it's just not doing a training. So you will have uh, experience while I'm working or I'm doing this training, right? So just spend our uh, 10 to 15 minutes of uh, every day that will be more than enough if you can do it so you can practice or you know while i'm teaching you can actually go through it and then uh, create your mappings if you can do it you know that will be fruitful and uh, i can uh, so i do have uh, assessments uh, in my mind 
so which I actually shared with my previous batch as well. So I created some assessments on the IISS cloud. So on a weekly basis, if you guys are uh, joining, right, I can share those assessments on a weekly basis and then based on that, we can monitor your progress as well. So uh, on the next day, I, I can do a, like a doubts clarification if you guys have any uh, doubts on the previous class that you did practice on it. So we can go over the session as well. So it will be interactive, not just me talking, okay. Okay, then uh, share your names and numbers. I see some of you already shared the uh, names, numbers, uh, email IDs, where, you know, I will send the uh, new batch uh, record, uh, meetings. So let me just... Okay, then uh, I'll stop the sharing. And then. So we'll meet you guys in the next class. Thanks. Bye.